off, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endureth such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastening, chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrupted, corrected us, and we have gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection to the Father of spirits and live? And then back over in the book of Zechariah. The 13th chapter, we'll read just a little bit. And I'll be praying for it while we read this. It says, In that day there shall be a fountain open to the house of David, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, for sin and for uncleanness. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land, and they shall no more be remembered. And also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirits to pass out of the land. And it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy, and his father and his mother that be yet him shall say unto him, Thou shalt not live, for thou speakest lies in the name of the Lord, and his father and his mother that begat him shall thrust him through when he prophesies. And it shall come to pass in that day that the prophets shall be ashamed every one of his vision. When he hath prophesied, neither shall they wear a rough garment to deceive. And he shall say, I am no prophet, I am an husbandman, for man called me to keep cattle from my youth. We'll read the rest of the chapter. It says, And one shall say unto him, What are these wounds in thine hands? Then he shall answer, These those which, <coughs> with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd and against the man that is my fellow. Saith the Lord of hosts, Smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn mine hand upon the little ones. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my God. Now, I see to read this morning. The thought that came to us is we... I tried to pray this week and do that. And the Lord would have us today was the weights. And then uh, this morning the scripture in Zechariah here came to our heart. And we'll just try to let the Lord lead us this morning. I surely can't do this thing on my own. I have that total weakness this morning. And that is just like I said in Sunday school, submit myself unto Him. It's, it's an enemy of mine. And, uh, just giving him a minute and build, building these things up in my mind and making his way a lot harder than he is it to me. Y'all just bear with us for just a minute. We may not do nothing but talk on this, but I desire this morning uh, to preach to you the word. I surely do. Uh, I fail him miserably to be that of the messenger that he needs me to be. <laughs> but nevertheless, how thankful that he reaches down his hand sometimes and he just lets us see these things and lets us go on and, and forgives us of those sins. And I thought as I read here too about that of Jerusalem and I thought about him hanging on the cross and it said in the first chapter of the first verse that I read too, in that day there shall be a fountain open 
to the house of David to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. And then I thought uh, about the weights and let us lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset us. And uh, there's a lot of people in this life, there really is, including me a lot of times, that uh, there's a lot of weights and a lot of sin that easily beset us. But uh, the scripture that I read to you instructs us to remember that. Uh, him hanging on the cross and remember that that He died for, uh, that we might not be cumbered about, that we might not be burdened in our minds, that we uh, might be able to just go on in the way that it had us to this morning. And uh, I'll tell you today that a lot of people are still looking for that. As Brother Mike said in Sunday school, they're there. Uh, just a while ago, they're looking for another way uh, for the Lord, uh, for somebody to help them. They surely are, but. Uh, here it says, in that day there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. And I want you to know this morning that there's a way uh, for us to be clean. There surely is. And it's only going to come through that, uh, the blood of Jesus. It really is. They uh, prophesied about this day all through the book of Zechariah and all through uh, the books of the Bible. They knew that there was a man coming that would take away uh, that of the sins of the world. And I thought about that, uh, the church, and that when he died, Brother Mike, that uh, he came not to, to do away with the law, but he came to fulfill it today. That uh, it might be made perfect, that it might be made something uh, that it never had been before, that it could be uh, made a way that we could have remission of sin, that we uh, would no longer have to offer those yeah. sacrifices anymore, but uh, that we would, that our bodies would be a living sacrifice, uh, and we'd have to present ourselves holy and acceptable unto Him, and present our bodies that of a living sacrifice this morning. And uh, listen, I'll tell you, my friend, that uh, there's another day coming when He comes back to get uh, those that He's uh, called us. The ones uh, that have endured to the end. The ones uh, that shall be saved. You say, well, I thought we didn't believe that way. Listen, I don't believe that uh, He's going to come back and set up that of uh, another kingdom and that He's going to do uh, something like that again, my friend. But listen, there'll be a day uh, that's coming that we can just lay it down, Brother Mike, uh, that we don't have to worry with those things no more. But uh, listen, what I want to think about this morning, and hey, uh, Lord, be our helper is about that uh, this day that we live in and the ways of this world. Listen, uh, my friend, that fountain is open unto us. Uh, my friend, those that are the house of David today, listen, the one, uh, listen, my friend, the line of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. It surely has. Uh, my friend, it will overcome, uh, my friend, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony today. Uh, it'll be the only way that we're able uh, to go on in this life, but listen, it'll only come uh, through that of putting aside the weight and the sin that does so easily beset us. Uh, we go through this thing, we surely do. Y'all bear with us uh, for just a minute. We go through life and we say, well, uh, it's just a little weight. It ain't no big deal, the things uh, that we have in our way a lot of times. But my friend, listen, uh, if we do not submit ourselves unto God, uh, if we don't lay aside these things and just get uh, to the place this morning, and that uh, we just want to cry out to the Lord, uh, my friend, and cry out to Him uh, that He might be able to help us this morning, uh, then there'll be no help found for us. Uh, my friend, Amen. you say, well, uh, listen, we're His people. He's there uh, for us to call upon this morning. Uh, he Thank surely you, is, brethren, but listen, uh, we're going to have to cry to Him this morning uh, that we might be able to receive the help that we need. We surely are. Uh, my friend, if we don't cry and we we lay there uh, in that mud and in that mire and just wallowing uh, there in our pity and in our shame this morning. Listen, uh, we're not going to find that help, Brother Mike. Uh, we've got to open that door and go uh, to Him today. Uh, he's ready to help us this morning. Yes, he, uh, he surely is. He's ready uh, to come to us and to heal us, uh, my friend, because there's a wound in this man. There really is. And uh, this man that you see standing before you, uh, there's a lot of things, and they ain't none of them much good. The only good thing about me is what the Lord has put on the inside of me. Uh, there's no compassion. There's no mercy. Uh, there's nothing today. But listen, uh, when the Word of God comes to us, 
uh, my friend, whenever we realize that we can have, uh, my friend, eternal life and realize that we uh, can put our, uh, we can be uh, in the place that the Lord can deal with us this morning, uh, then we'll get to the place where we can receive the help. I've yeah, been yeah, yeah. Uh, to a lot of places and you just see people struggling uh, and you just wonder why that they can't get no help. Uh, they won't realize today uh, what the Lord can truly do. The Bible said uh, over there in the first uh, uh, the first few chapters of Zechariah, listen, uh, about wherever he was going to destroy uh, that uh, Jerusalem day, that the people of uh, my friend had pulled their shoulder away, uh, they turned their head, they hardened their hearts tonight. Uh, my friend, listen, if we turn our head away uh, and we quit pushing and quit trying uh, for that of the Lord, listen, there's no good end uh, going to come of it this morning, but we're going to have uh, to try to do uh, what the Lord would have us to do. We surely are this morning. It, uh, it ain't going to come through the ways uh, and that of this world. It's surely not. Listen, a lot of prophesying has been done down through the years today. Uh, listen, and it came true whenever uh, He came and died for us today and uh, did away with the old way and dark fulfilled, uh, excuse me, that of the way that He had laid before us, uh, that we might have something more precious, uh, that we might have something holy and acceptable uh, in His life. Uh, uh, my friend in this life that we might be able uh, to have access to Him, that we might be able uh, my friend to pull together and work uh, for Him. Listen, we're taught a lot of things in this life. Uh, we go through a lot of things that we might be able uh, to educate ourselves. But listen, uh, the learning of this world is not what it's going to take uh, to get us closer to the Lord. You say, well, uh, what do you mean by that? I mean, uh, my friend, that there's nothing wrong with an education in this life. Uh, but listen, if we don't put the Lord first and don't go on about His business this morning, uh, then it'll come up no good. It won't be any worth anything today. Uh, it's going to take us humbling ourselves before Him and being in that place today. Listen, in the second verse, <coughs> we'll read this to you. There's the third verse. It says, And it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy to this Father, then his father and his mother that begat him shall say unto him, Thou shalt not live, for thou speakest lies in the name of the Lord. And his father and his mother that begat him shall thrust him through <coughs> when he prophesied. Listen, one day when the Lord came and the, the Spirit fell upon those over there, there became a man on the inside of us, that Spirit that would work. <coughs> and whenever we would go out and do what we, we want to do, it brings conviction to us. It surely does. And listen, the father uh, that begat us and the mother, uh, my friend, that raises us, that truth that's in her, brother mine, that truth that's in the word of the Lord. And I'm about finished. I can't go no further. But uh, listen, unless the Lord send it a little further. But uh, listen, that word that's in the church, that truth, and that wonderful thing that she is, it'll thrust us through. Uh, my friend, it surely will. It'll come to our house. And it'll show us that we're wrong. It really will. And listen, Paul, uh, uh, the writer over there in Hebrew that I read to you, he said, without chastisement, uh, we're bastards and not sons. Amen. Listen, uh, my friend, but listen, we have received uh, the chastisement of God, that thrusting through of the Word and that pricking of our heart today. Uh, listen, that getting a hold of us and showing us our rights and our wrongs today. Listen, that... Uh, my friend is a good thing. That chastisement is wonderful. Uh, my friend, and it said in that uh, book in Hebrews, it said, I uh, don't faint because of the chastisement of God. Uh, listen, don't be weary because of it. Because, uh, listen, if we're corrected not, uh, then we'll go our own way this morning. We surely will. Uh, we'll go any way we want to. But listen, I'm thankful uh, that the Lord is able. He is there. Uh, if we'll put our faith and our trust in Him and just cry out. Uh, to our Father today, that it'll be there, it'll be a guide, it'll be a stay, uh, we'll be able to go uh, on the Lord's way, and whenever we would turn, that'll be there uh, to correct us, it'll be there uh, to turn us back to the Lord, because if we just go the way we want to go, uh, we'll be no good to ourselves, we'll be no good to the Lord, if we quit uh, and pull our shoulder away. Uh, from that good thing that the Lord would have for us this morning. I tell you, uh, it won't be pleasant and we won't be able Blessing. to receive that help today. Listen, uh, we've got to cry out to the Lord. He desires 
to hear that of the voice of His children. He surely does. But God, He loves us. He sent His Son to die upon the cross that we might have life. That we might have life and have it more abundantly. And we might be able to live a life filled with the Spirit and filled with the joys of our Lord and Savior today. But it's going to take some effort. It'll take uh, pressing on in this way this morning. Uh, Brother Mike, I'm finished. I know it's been short, but that's as far as we feel like we need to go. And we'll turn it back over to you and let you go the way that you see fit this morning.